to achieve. Bro. School, they just started up there in Hesperus, Colorado, and they hired Buzz Bergman, who went to Colorado State, and they, they thought he'd be the guy because it was a branch. It was called Fort Lewis A&M Branch, Colorado State A&M. It later became, it got on its own, but that's what it was called. So they hired Buzz Bergman, who graduated in Colorado State, to coach the team. And he was begging everybody to come up there. He didn't have anybody. I guess we put them on the map. They never done crap in football to all these <laughs> crazy North Denver kids went up there and put, put them on the map. Yeah, this is the picture that I have that I put up in the locker room. This one. Oh, that one, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Ah, I'm glad I brought that. No, oh, it's beautiful. It, it was called the Junior College Rose Bowl in Tyler, Texas, and we played Tyler Junior College, and we got our ass kicked. <laughs> Something like 40 to nothing. 47 to 7. And it also rained. It's in there. Yeah, it says right here. What's in there? There it is. There it is. Tyler, Texas. But there was a reason for that. 40, 40 to nothing. I got a good memory, don't I? There was a reason for that, Freddie. Huh? Huh? If you remember, it was raining like okay. crazy. Yeah. I remember all that. Uh, they were good back Billy, Billy couldn't I find any of the receivers song. out there. I never yeah. seen it rain. Right? And Knox yeah. was a receiver. Yeah, Billy Knox played in. You'd look out your window out at the classroom and there'd be sheep coming up and the road. Probably, where they, yeah, cattle. <laughs> and you guys were crazy, crazy, right? Yeah. 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 So, so was it a big shock when you guys came from the city to the country? Was it hard? No. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, that You're, was beautiful out there yeah. at Hesperus. We were playing uh, Denver Christian. And they had a slogan or a, a cheer and went like this. Let's make a basket for the Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> now that is, that is a true story. But we stayed at my folks' house yeah. because we didn't have enough money for a motel at that time. And that's the truth. We never had any money for anything. I used to <laughs> steal every goddamn thing. If I ate once a meal and I was hungry, one was all you got up there on this deal we had in football. If I got hungry, I'd go steal something. Shit, I never had a dime. My mother was 12 kids. She thinks she's going to give me any money to go to college? How come you want to go to college, Ma? Said, well, Ma, you have to go to college. That's how you get a job. You need to go to work. <laughs> you need to go to work. I remember, I remember we was going up there one night, our uh, tank inch had a new 48 Ford. That was, that was you know, really nice to travel in. Anyway, we was going up Wolf Creek and it was snowing. And there was a rotary coming down. So when he went down, we crossed over. Well, it plugged up the grill on one Hank's car. So, so boy, the temperature on the thing went up so fast, we, we had to stop and clear the snow out of the thing. But that, that pass was something else. One, one fall night in 1949, a group of us were there, John Mullane and I were buddies in high school, and uh, the bowling alley was kind of the uh, centerpiece of entertainment in those days. I don't know if it's still there or not. 
but up in Silverton, they were filming a, a, there was a movie being made called Ticket to Tomahawk. It was kind of a broad a musical spoof, a Dan Daly and a lot of stars, and Baxter, Roy Calhoun, and the cast and crew came down from shooting four days in Silverton to stay in Durango, and they were uh, they were playing you know playing but the bowling game and everything, and we got to meet some of them. I, I tried to interview Walter Brennan in the bathroom, and that was a disaster. But I had a roommate in those days who was long gone named Shorty McGinn. And we were in our, in our room in Fort Lewis later that night, and we were talking about the people we met. He says, yeah. He said, you know, I, I met a nice, nice looking blonde there. She's kind of an extra to film. But I bowled with her. I said, what was her name? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> so we had a lot of great stories on that. My year, my year, my year there was just incredible.